<laughs> you're a beautiful bosoms, aren't you? Yes, you are. Just one thing I found rather distressing whilst I was away in Wiltshire. I was born there, I was born in Moonraker, not far from Swindon, in an area for all my father's in the RAF. And all of that area I know fairly well from those very early days, Heathbury, Bring, Stonehenge, all of that. And in my younger days I actually wandered around Stonehenge, it was unfenced, it was open, you could just walk around, it wasn't being damaged. Gradually, of course, more and more people visited in the path, started to wear a bit. Until only some years ago when it was cut right down to having a tunnel through and having a ticket for about six or seven pounds and you could walk around a walk race so the thing wasn't damaged. This time I thought I'd take Rosie and it wasn't very nice weather and we arrived there to this massive car park, huge structure that you're going to see in a moment, coaches and coaches of people, hundreds of people. Yes, there are so many people going now. Yes, it needs to be dealt with very efficiently to, for, to handle the numbers that are going. But I was absolutely astounded by the price and the size of the now event. Uh, we were talking £20 for a visitor. Now this is run by English Heritage. I'm sure a wonderful organisation and uh, are doing a lot for the country. But it is our English heritage. I am English. It is my heritage. And I couldn't afford to take Rosie around there at that price. Uh, especially with all of those crowds as well. Hopefully we'll go back at some stage and I still love her to see it. So as a one-off, I'd love to pay £20 for to see the thing. But uh, so many visitors. But I, I was astounded at the cost of £20. How can you justify £20 to go around a pile of stones? Um, they are very special stones. It's a very special monument and it needs looking after. I would have said £8 to £10 was more than adequate, especially with those numbers, to go around and see this monument. I don't think the overheads can be that great that they have to make these huge profits on our heritage and stop the English from seeing their heritage. I think it's overpriced personally. English heritage may differ with me and have different figures. But uh, I don't feel that that amount can be justified. Anyway, there we are. There's my feelings. We didn't go in. Uh, you can see what it was like there. And yes, they have to handle these huge quantities of people, but we were both as we say, gobsmacked by this massive charge of entry, let alone now the scale of the whole thing. I don't know, you say, what's the world coming to? We've come back to Stonehenge, which I remember from many years ago. 
I was born near here, and they're now charging £20 to come in per person. And this is how things have changed now. As a child, I used to youth I used to come here and just walk through the stones free of charge all around them, and then they gradually fence them off, then made car parks and tunnels and charge seven pounds. And now it's become this mega structure with these hundreds of people in crowded Britain queuing up to pay twenty pounds a time to get in. It's just unbelievable. So here we are at a local pub and it's wonderful, a beautiful selection of real ales. Very nice. That's nothing down there. Fish and meat, pickled egg and a big packet of crisps. And cheers, how's bar she says. So what are you with that? A dinosaur? Of course I'm a dinosaur. Of course I'm a dinosaur. I wouldn't say. They appear at the foot of the instructions. Oh, look, Holly. What are you doing? You can talk. Holly's a good dog. What have you got over there? Yeah. George. George. Nobody ever gets me. Yeah. It's got a new toy. Yeah. <laughs> well aware of it, Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did want you walk, but it doesn't matter. Like really nice. Look, these prawns. These are delicious. You try them, you will love them. They're really good, girl. It's got dip dip on. It's got a dip dip on. You like dip dip? They're nice. I like that. Look at it. Oh, something came out. Oh, something came out. I've got some nail clippers. Whoa. Oh, you've got the nail clippers. I want, I want the. Where's my hat? There we go. I want, I want the nail hat. 
That's better. Yeah. Now you can see now. Not, <laughs> not none for me, please, Mummy. I don't know. Oh, what, what do you want to drink then? Do you want some refillable water? Put it with me. Yeah. You ready? Oh, your banger didn't go. <laughs> Ooh, it went hot. Oh, he's got a good amount. Yeah, yeah. A crown. A crown. Oh, I got a gold crown. Yay. Who got gold yeah, crowns? Gold. What's this? Oh, that's the game. Yeah. Yeah. You've got that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, importantly, Wigs, get me some tissues. Although some other people have books, like normal. What? Wigs, yes, 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 yes. Oh, there. Oh, Come on. Do you have the cucumber? You want to pull cucumber? Do you think I've ever seen that cucumber? Oh, cucumber. Stick that on there, then. Stick that on there. 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 Stick what did the Angry Mouse family send oh to the cat at Christmas? <coughs> Cross mice cards. Fetch. Here. Fetch. Fetch. Fetch it here. Fetch up. Fetch it here. Up. Holly come. Good dog. There's a fetch. That's a big one. Do you know what I mean? Right, wait there. So you go. Let's see what you get inside. You're trying, so don't worry. You have a little bit of mayonnaise crab. What is it? Eat all that. You, you will eat it all, Abigail, no, believe me. Yeah. We'll have to set on fire, we we'll have to set on fire, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> Smells really, really good. Oh, oh you can get it. That will. Just try it. What was oh, that? Black Forest? Yeah. All these different things you can get. How much? A lot or little? Mm -hmm. just little because I don't like it. I tried it. Hey, go away! Oh! Fantastic! That's so cool. Well, that's really good. 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 You've got Lakeland for this day. They'd be for £5, for Lakeland. Oh, there you are. You can buy some. Oh, you know this one? Jack, but it's not going to hold it. Right, and what's there for my clock? Are you okay? Yeah. Take all the clock. I haven't opened it yet. That, if you do, we'll definitely bump you off the back. Oh, you're done. You won't get long to wait the way I'm going. It can be arranged. Oh, thank you, Mother. <laughs> oh, thank you. Good. Hi. Oh, 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 best friend. Oh, the oh, best friend. Oh, 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 It's a chalkboard last season. When you go through the chalk, yeah, it's got that wonderful white cotton pad. Yeah, I've got black things on my side as well. Yeah. 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 The ones we've learned about. Verity! Verity! Can you pick me your brain? Are you going to pick me one of your sister as well? Oh, yeah, no, you're a monster! Come and take your arm. Can you just tell her? Yeah? You're recreating. Yeah? It's a nice doggy. Yeah, well, yes. It's a nice dog, isn't it? Who's picking the last bits? Oh, chaos here, and the star of the show is here. 
Bees and blankets. And a Charlotte. Mm -hmm. What do you say? Okay. Uh, yeah. Colin's all right without any at the moment. Oh, you like that as well. Yeah. Sure, yeah. It'll just be Kay and Abigail that want gravy. I'll have one of those. Yeah, I'll put them here. Help yourself with. We'll yeah, we've all got. Let's just play it here for you and Pete. It would fall on you. Oh, fine. Well, that's, that one. That's why you're laughing. It's hot. I made it up actually. It's hot. Sage, fresh sage mm. in the garden. Um, no, but no. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a shoveling piece inside. You want more bacon? Is that bacon good? Where's the bacon gone? Eat a little bacon. It's gone. There's one with the piano. Oh, back to you. Uh, no, 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 you can't go.